So I have found a Bella, my beautiful Bella, who doesn't need good lighting because she's gorgeous and dirty. So the first thing I'm gonna do with Bella is get her wet. Take the warm water and sponge it over her body. Janice, make sure you can come on in and get a little more of Bella. Because you're really gonna wanna see when I rub the oil into her. You can make an oil and water mixture. I am just gonna put the oil on her directly. I love these bottles because they don't squirt too much and it doesn't scare them. Now Bella is a good girl. She doesn't love the bath, but she doesn't try too hard to get away. As you all know, washing a cat can be a difficult endeavor. Bella, it's almost Halloween, but you don't have to be scared. No, you don't. Adding some more water. Yeah, I usually would mix up half oil, half water. So now I'm gonna give Bella a nice oil massage. I know, Bella. I'm gonna get under her arms real good. She's so funny, because I know this kind of feels good. I know it kind of feels good, honey. I know. But, you know, it's not her idea, so. I am gonna take the little bit of the butt cleaner that I put out before on a paper towel, it's nice and ready. And gently holding her tail, put it right on her butt and make sure this ends up in the trash can. <laughs> so, bellies, my bellies. It usually takes a few minutes for me to do her whole body. I'm adding a little more water. So it's funny because I don't see, you don't really see any dirt yet. It's trapped in the oil. rubbing it all over her, you could eat this. As a matter of fact, Devlin often tries to eat this. We had to put him in the bedroom so he wouldn't help with the bath. So just to show you guys how well just the oil works, I know, right? This was all over you, Belly. And to keep from rinsing their faces and getting water in their ears and everything too much, I actually will first wipe with a dry towel. Now we're gonna go right into part two. You put the shampoo right over the oil, but let's just show you just how scary this is without too much light on it. Okay. So now we're gonna go right into the wash. Nice warmed up shampoo. You're not going anywhere, miss. <laughs> Listen, little girl. You can have it squirted out in the bowl of water, which probably would have been a great idea this time. And this is starting to foam. Actually, you're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna be wearing Bella for a moment. There we go, Belly. This will make it easier and faster. There. Now, when shampoo foams in the cosmetic industry, that is called flash. You do not need flash to get clean. However, it does make everything go on a little smoother but it's usually what has sulfates in it, which you've heard of, and sulfates aren't great for many reasons. There are no sulfates in our stuff, no parabens. We try to get everything organic, non-GMO, you know, all that. So her wonderful butt cleaner's been on. So this is the part where you might wanna hide the kid's eyes. because all, all the butt dirt, blah, yuck. Once again, good to have a trash can handy. Okay, Belly, one more time. We're gonna 
do the dry wipe around her face. Much better. Let's foam you up just a little more. And now I'm going to wash her face with the clear water. This is a little disconcerting to do on camera. So if it looks a little awkward, it feels a little awkward. Now I'm going to rinse her. This is Bella's least favorite thing pretty much in the world. I know, sweetheart. You can put a towel down so that they have better traction, but I actually prefer to kind of hang on to them and not let them have traction because then they get away. Now you could do a regular bath, putting them in water with the soap and the rinse and everything. But my cats, even though Bella's not acting thrilled to pieces, seem to be much less traumatized doing it this way. If you have a cat that loves baths, I'm jealous. Okay, up she goes. So now, I'm gonna do her ears. Janice, you'll have to come in close. So here's the silver. And you can also put this in its own mixing bottle with some warm water. And let me grab the Q-tips. Oh no, they're here now, okay. We're just gonna do a kind of half-hearted one ear wash though so you can see how to do it. I'm gonna open this up, always test how it's squirting on my hand. When you put ear wash in, are you close up, Janice? Can you come in? Yeah. You never want to point this down into it. I point it almost up, just a little squirt. I know, baby. It feels funny. Get it down into the bulb of the ear. And this is where you want to massage. And if you hear a funny noise, kind of, you've got it in the right place. Release and prepare. You're going to wait till I'm vulnerable before you do that. <laughs> then you repeat it in the other ear. For some reason, they don't seem to react as much when I put this in their ears. It doesn't sting, it doesn't stink. Silver is naturally antibacterial, antifungal. It seems to break up the, uh... are you gonna shake? <laughs> no, she's like, no, I'm gonna try and escape. It seems to break up their earwax really well. So usually I would say wait about five minutes. Take a piece of paper towel if it's soft or tissue, whatever you use. Careful there, honey. I think I'm in so sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> and you're gonna wipe in a circular motion and then out. And you end up getting some nice wax. Now I've been cleaning ears for a while and I have my vet show me, so I do use Q-tips. There's a couple little ridges in there. Billy. She's like, no, mama, no. And there's something that I refer to as the mud pit, but once again, never down or into the ear. This I'm slipping right into the, yeah, I know. Yummy. Um, I bought 10,000 Q-tips. I found them on sale. So I have enough for the rest of my life. <laughs> Look around. If you are squeamish of brown earwax, brown claw wax, grease, anything like that, dirty cats, dirty butts, don't get a sphinx. So, Belly, I got something for you. Another way to keep your cat clean is to dress them. That brown, kind of rusty looking oil, that's their body oil. It literally oxidizes on contact with air because part of it is comprised of old shed off red blood cells that have iron in them. I've been doing my research. So it's like iron oxide or iron clay when the baseball players get it on their white jerseys. So you're not seeing a dirty cat, you're seeing a rusty cat. And the clothing helps keep it off their bodies and off your furniture. You'll see it on the inside of the clothes when you take them off. Here's Belly wearing her skelly. Bella, thank you for 